And it goes a little yeah. something like Okay, I'm already cutting to me editing after the intro. My brother's in the other room, so sorry if you hear any background noise. So basically, I filmed this video and the next two cooking videos that are going to be coming out back in like December. So this one is it's more of like a Christmas themed thing. You can still make them, like you make them all year round. It's just mainly like a Christmas themed kind of thing, you know? But, oh, do you like my shirt? It's for online. You're on mute. Just thought I'd point that out, but yeah. Hey guys, welcome to Kate's Cooking. Or cooking. <clears throat> hey guys, welcome to Cooking with Kate. Don't mind the hair and the pajamas. We're having like a spirit week at my school. Anyways, today I'm showing you how to make these delicious looking reindeers. Picture on the screen now. And yeah, so I got this from this American Girl magazine. They're just so adorable. So I thought I should use makeup. I've made them for like two years now. So what we will be needing is parchment paper. It doesn't matter what type of eyes you get, but you're gonna want some eyes. You can use M&Ms, but we use these little uh, cinnamon flavored bread thingies. Cinnamon flavored bread thingy, bread thingy, bread thingy. Cinnamon flavored bread thingy. And you're gonna want some Rolos. We bought some unwrapped Rolos so we don't have to unwrap. Here's the tin foil. And remember to have parental supervision. So I'm gonna. Oh yeah, so someone's cooking with me today. That's Charlie Max Kevin our elf. Okay. So here, hold on, I gotta lower you guys. There you go. So I'm going to start by spreading some parchment paper on my tray. And this is the fun part. Now don't eat any of your materials just yet because then you might run out and you're gonna need, probably gonna need some more of them. So we're also going to need some pretzel clips. Yeah, Let me open those pretzels. The first thing we're gonna do is lay them out. Just lay them. I'm going to place these Rolos right on the middle of the pretzel. Just like that. Now sometimes I can look back in the magazine just to remember things. Covering an orange. Bake in a preheat 250 degree oven. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna get my dad to help me preheat. Oven's a little bit different, but you wanna preheat it to 250. So I'm gonna press bake. And it always starts at 350. So once I put it at 250, do I press start? No. Okay. So once I got it at 250, I'm just gonna press start and it's preheating. So while it's preheating is when we get this ready. So you're gonna spread your rollos. You want to have them not too spaced, but you're gonna want them spaced. Now for this, I'm not going to place this one because it's kind of cracked and you won't really get the goodness of it. So if, it, if you have a broken one, that's, that's when you can eat.
I throw your stuff away. I do not, I'm not throwing your stuff away. I just need three more Rolos. And basically you can use almost your whole bag of Rolos. You might have some leftover for snacking. Okay, so now we're just gonna wait for my oven to be preheated. But while we're doing that, let's get our second separate. You can put your parchment paper away. So we're gonna do that. Okay, so let me just show you what that's like. Okay, we got it preheated, so I'm gonna go get my teapot. touch something it's going to start to burn so you just put it under some cold water for about five minutes so set, set an alarm Click anything is that five minutes or yeah. five hours? Oh, does that say five hours? I think that's five minutes. Yeah. Or. Oh, it's four hours. Oopsie daisy. These clocks are confusing. Because at the beginning, instead of pressing plus, you pressed minus. Uh, so you went all the way to the highest it goes. Oops. Okay, thank you. You might want to take it out at four because you've been in there for a minute. You know? Yeah. Or take a look at it. Now I have to get these all ready. I'm going to take this right here. Part, trying to make the antlers. Yeah, we should have five minutes to make some antlers. Yeah. And normally we wait just like a minute or two for them to cool down. Alright, well if you don't think you can take it out without any help, you get me and I'll help you. Okay. Good thing take it out just make sure you got room up here to set it down. Yeah. Okay, so don't set your timer for five hours like I did do five minutes. And okay, so I'm stopping myself once again because so right after my dad went downstairs, I kind of just like bam, there was all my words. So for some reason when I'm filming, I don't like to talk when I'm around family. I have no idea why. It just seems so weird, I don't know, but I've gotten better at it. And also, yeah, now I'm wearing a hat and in a different location. Don't know why I'm telling you this. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the video. While you're doing that, we get our antlers to cook. So you take a pretzel and you gotta break it in half. It's kind of hard for me, but I gotta, I kind of pinch the middle and break it. So you have two sides and you just place a pile and you just keep making them. These are getting, they get easier as you go. enough antlers for now. I've got this giant pile here. These are just a few mess ups. I'm just going to go ask Alexa the time. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 12.13 p.m. 12.13 and I gotta go at 12.35. So hopefully we get these done. But while that's leaving, I'm also going to take a sip of water. Anyways, I'm also going to open up my container. 
And we have our red hats, and I'm just gonna pour. We call them red hats, I don't know what they're actually called. Just gonna pour a few out there on your eyes. We bought two packets because we're gonna need two for each. So we are making little Rudolphs. Now, if you wanted to use MMs, you could probably um do like the purple or some people call it brown MMs, and you could just make a normal reindeer. That would actually be really cute. I want to see that. I've never done it before, but I want to see that. And these, just going to put some eyes in the pile. And I'm going to open it and check. Okay, there's one minute left, but I didn't get my time up until I'm in the napkin. That looks good, so turn that off. No, it's not going to work. And we're going to put it up on the top up there. I don't want to burn myself. Do I have these? Okay, this is kind of scary, but... I did it. I don't want to turn off, but. Got it. And our candies are softened, so this is the next part. You might want to wait like a minute because they are going to be a bit hot. But you can, can finish preparing your stuff because. Wait, hold on, look. <laughs> Anyways, you can, um, if you didn't finish preparing your stuff, take the time to do that now. But as you can see, we have all of them spread out on there. They kind of moved a little bit, but when you take the tray in and out, but that's okay. And let's try to get a good angle of them. I think that's good right there. Yeah, perfect. So for some reason, when I'm doing this type of stuff, or, you know, whenever I'm cooking, I like to store it. It makes me feel so much taller and it's just so much more comfortable to be over it than to be under it. And when this stool is cold. So you be very careful. And I'm actually going to do my antlers first. So you're going to take, you're just going to find pretzel bits, two sides, and stick them in the side. Pretty soft. Or you may choose to do something else first, like the noses, which go right there.
and that is them. I'll have a picture about now probably on the screen of them, but that is how to make them. This is what the original image is. Their eyes are much smaller, but those are the pointy bananas that maybe I'll make next time. Anyways, the recipe will be right at the end of the video, but thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye. No time to try the reindeer. We've let, we've let them sit for a little bit. They look so delicious and so adorable. They turned out great. And we have extra eyes, a lot of extras in these, and just a few of these. Okay, I'm getting so excited to taste them. How long do you keep yours in the oven for? I kept mine for five, but you might want to do four or three. It's depending on when you're going to let it sit. These are still a little bit gooey after like an hour, but... Mm. That is good. My dad was my taste tester. He loved it. There you go. I want to pick one. Is that right? I gotta pick those. Can I throw it? Yeah, let's do that one. Okay. And there's another one, yes. Don't put that in the clip. Oh. <laughs> Okay, me editing here for the third time. Um, back in the original spot, so I might as well take the hat off. Oh, that's bad. Don't put that in. Okay, so it's me editing for the third time, and I realized I never really had a kind of goodbye, like an outro. I don't really feel like editing an outro right now, I'm like making one and everything, so my outro will be here. Um, my dad was a taste tester, so it was my sister, and my mom had one. I gave some to my friends and my brother, so. Ooh, they are really fun to make, even though it was, like, a Christmassy thing. If you use, like, a purple or brown M&M, it's, like, a debate what color it is. We should ask the M&M factory. Anyways, so if you use the the M&M's, it would just be like a normal deer, which I think would be really cute for like fall or really any season. For some reason when I think of deer, I think of fall. But yeah, I actually wanna put my hat back on. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe, you don't have to, but like, it would really help me and make me happy. Um, the comments are gonna be off, I already know it. They're gonna be restricted because they just are, you know? If you go to this video right now, well, if you look at the comments, they're restricted, I bet you. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye.